<laughs> Hello guys, my name is Citrus. Your name is insert name here, and we are playing some more Dwarf Fortress where we are because trying to become the new capital, but it's not going really well. No, indeed it does not, because I have been playing again on the stream, and we were attacked by a were beast, and five of our dwarfs might have been infected. I was trying to save them by. Uh, trying to lock them in into the hospital. I had a little burrow all set up for them where they should just rest and see what will happen uh, until the full moon, which it is right now. As you can see up here in the corner, it's full moon right now. And yes, I tried to get them in there, but somehow they refused to go into the barrels and time ran out and then it turned into full moon and now we have five werewolves inside our fort. Or actually, it's not even werewolves, it's actually were piñadas. No, we're... Where, 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 where? Um, we're pangolins, yes, we're pangolins. And... Um, yeah, about that. This is not gonna go very well. Uh, <laughs> mostly because those five infected are indeed five of our best warriors and uh, my take here is that we might be able to kill them I mean there's just just five of them but um, yeah if we do get anyone hurt which we have one right here our trader just took a swing and this little guy the woodcrafter also took a swing so they are indeed infected now and uh, Maybe we will get someone who survives. Um, I'm not sure how. We can, of course, always try to take it back. How many dwarves do we have in here? We have a total of 65. So there's probably going to be 65 dead dwarves here. Right about soon. Um, what we could do... What we could do is get all of our guys outside like as many as as many as possible get them out here and we could seal the fort we could try and close it off because there's a bridge here and someone could stay behind and pull the lever closing this off closing in the were beasts inside and the rest can try and come up with idea how to solve the problem. Yeah, let's uh, let's try that. I mean, because if they stay down in here, they are going to be murdered most likely. Because I don't think we have enough. I mean, we have enough dwarves to to take them down, but then. The guys who are already hurt will turn in as well. I'm not really sure how I should do this. Um, I mean, we can try and kill them. And yeah, I think we can try and kill them. Like have everyone bunch up in uh, squads and just go on. Like all, all of them go on them. And then we could leave behind the wounded ones. Or have all the wounded ones, one, uh, wounded ones in, in a room somewhere. We could try and drown them. That's something. We could place a... If we kill them, we could mine out a room here. Set up another uh, little floodgate over here. Have all the guys in the room go in here. And then open this up and drown them. Because... Yeah, we need to do something to save the fort here. So I'm gonna try and do that. This is something maybe I should have tried to do from the start. But let's try it now. Let's try it now. We're gonna have everyone come into squads. First, let's have all the copper rangers and everyone just go on these guys. There's actually, I think there's five of them in total. Three, four, five. There's five of them. Which is not ideal. This one in the hospital. So we're gonna try and lock him in straight away. Forbid passage. 
Uh, keep tight closed. I don't know. If, I don't think this might. It might work. Keep tightly closed. I'm gonna lock this one in as well. Hopefully that will do something. I think we also got. No, we haven't set up the. We have a couple of guard dogs in here. I mean, war dogs. There's five of them, so maybe they can take down some of them. We haven't built this door, so we can't close this off. Okay, so that's two of them. And uh, let's see the other guys. Um, that's the other guy in the hospital. And there's this guy. So he's being taken care of. Well, I'd say that like it's actually a thing, but he is getting attacked by these dwarves here, by the Marx dwarves. He, hopefully, they can take him down. Where's the other guy? The fifth guy. Three, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah. There's one in here, right here. Another one is down here. Okay, so um, let's try and have our squads, the Copper Rangers. Let's have them try and kill this one. The Copper Brawlers, I don't know where they are. They're pretty much spread out all over the place. They're gonna try and take down this guy. And then the copper spears that I've already, I just created, uh, they have picked up a few gears, like they only have spears and shields and all that, but I don't think they're fully equipped. And uh, they can try and take out this one. Yeah, let's, let's, let's see here. <laughs> let's go. Um, hmm. Let's slowly progress here. What's going on here then? This guy's panicking. This weird beast is starting to get a bit hurt. This one is hurt a lot. Um, this one, what, who is this? This is an elite Marksdwarf right here. Dumat, elite Marksdwarf. He is currently in hand to hand combat, which is not ideal, of course. If you are. Doing that. Uh, let's see what happens here. Okay, yep, they got some pretty good hits. I mean, the left lungs is damaged, his guts is damaged, his lower body. These ones seem to be locked in for now. Maybe they even maybe they can't even walk. No, they yeah, they should be able to walk. They have all their paws. Yeah, but they are locked in, so yeah, we're gonna have to take care of them. I should have, once they got into the hospital, I should have locked them in. That's what I should have done. I was finding a lot of them dead. These guys are firing at him, but they're not doing much. Um, that one is taken care of. And this, who killed him? What's the elite Marksworth? Who is that? What's your name? Dumat. Elite Marksworth, Dumat. So he shot him a few times, and then he jumped around, shot him again, and shot him again, and shot him again, and then he killed him again, I guess. Good, very good Elite Marksworth. Very happy with you. You can keep doing that. But this, this miner is probably killed, because he is infected, so he needs to be taken care of. I'm gonna have the miners start mining out an area here, where we will drown anyone who is damaged. Anyone who is damaged will get drowned because that's just how it is can't have can't have them hang around in the fort um, although we will have hmm I mean if we kill them there they will be ghosts um, but we can take care of that later on we can dig some we can fix something Right now we just need to do this. We need to kill these the ones who are infected. To save the fort. Flood gate. Make a flood gate right here. Yes. No. Yes. Right there. And while they kill the guys, there's one here. What about this one up here? They're still attacking him. These guys are looking really grim right now. Um, the copper brawlers, get up here and kill this one. 
he's pretty much unhurt. Get up there. One more dead. There they go, they're attacking him. What about the guy in the bottom here? He's still alive. I see, oh, I see. No, he's not, he's dead as well. But that that's two miners gone. And one Marks Dwarf and one, uh, what is this? Brewer, armor down. And uh, animal sector here. And this guy's also dead. These two are dead. If they go into the hospital, yeah, they do. They go into the hospital. Okay, so this is good. They're getting into the hospital and we can lock them in. I'm not even gonna worry about taking care of them because it's no it's no use. I'm just gonna lock him in and wait until the inevitable happens. It's gonna be their tombs, basically. There's one more in here, I'm gonna lock him in. I need more doors. Are we making more doors? We are making more doors. But a manager is required to coordinate work orders. So we don't have one, we have lost him. Let's make one. Um, you are going to be one. Get to work. You need to assign this place for him. Bookkeeper. And the mayor is in here. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah. And assign this to our the manager and this as well to the manager like that get it done okay who is left now others there's one left two left oh yes this these these are the ones in the hospital okay cool now everyone who gets in here every hurt dwarf oh there's a caravan coming oh welcome Welcome to the mayhem. Hope you will enjoy your stay. And here's the guy, here's the human that uh, were, were able to infect us because this wall was not here. Well, actually, it's not the wall. Okay, this there's not even a wall here. So he came over here and then he went along this road here, like the, the floor. There's, there was no wall here and there still isn't. So he was able to get in here and infect five people. And now it looks like this. So. Yeah, we have a lot of dead dwarfs everywhere. So now we just have to wait for them to bring them into the hospital. Then we can lock them in. Uh, do we have any barrels active right now? Alerts. And yeah, there we go. Okay, now we just have to wait for the... Yep, 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 there's another one. So we can lock him in. There's another one. I, I love that <laughs> they're just going into the hospital think they, thinking they will be saved or help, like we will, we, we will help them. But no, we're just going to lock them in. We cannot help them anymore. They are beyond help. Yeah, look at this. There's all these people. All these dwarves. I'm basically going to start them out. I'm going to have them in here until they start to death. That's what I'm going to do. Will be a horrible way to go but we have to do it for the for the greater good of our fort cannot afford being helping out dwarves right now we can't afford it i think they will understand as they cr as they claw at the doors trying to get out calling for their friends to help them Trying to convince us that they are not infected. Yeah. I think they will understand. Do we have any more? I think that's all of the infected. But there's a guy here. Are you wounded? If you are wounded, we will have to take care of you. You are not. There's a dead dwarf in here. Okay, so that seems to be it. That seems to be it for the dead people. 
What are you doing down here? Wait, why are you down here? Olin, Olin, what are you doing? Unconscious? Oh, it's actually, is that a crime? Oh, let's see. Have I, have I had our first crime? No, we're not. Wait, what? Hmm, why are you down there? Being unconscious. We should bring our military in there to see what's up with that. If he's maybe dead or something. Move down here. Let's see what's up with this guy. Okay, so let's see here. Now we're gonna do a sweep here. Top to bottom. And look for anyone who is hurt. No one here? Nope. What about here then? Mm, nope, that's a dead dwarf right there. Nope, nope, nope. And uh, no, you are fine. You are actually having a strange move right now. Um, nope, you are fine. You can see it by their blinking if they are infected. I mean, if they are hurt. These are fine as well. We have a lot of dwarves who are totally fine right now. Here are all the infected people in here. Locked safely away. I think that is it. I think that's it for infected dwarves. Yes, these are all fine. I hope. Yep, these are fine. That works too. Yep. And oh, what's that? Oh, I forgot to blink it first. Okay, you're cool. Yes. So that was it. That was all of the hurt dwarves. I mean, the infected dwarves. Now let's make sure that we have locked every single door here. That's locked. This is locked. 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 And also, it's uh, it. Not uh, pets are not uh, allowed to be to go through either, of course, because they can also be infected. And who is that? Okay, so I'm gonna see if we have any named dwarves in here. So, the ones who are sentenced to death are Stodir, Ilral the Armor, Tekud the Broker, Bim the Animal Sector, Kel the Miner, and he's a legendary miner as well, I think, and Kulib the Wrestler, Tob the Marks Dwarf. Kadul, the captain of the, uh, he's the captain of the guard. Rabot, and they have, they've actually changed back now. So they are not, uh, they have changed back from their were werewolf forms because it's, now it's not um, full moon anymore. But I'm gonna have them starve to death in there. I cannot, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna open it. Sodal, Carol, and Monom. No, so there's no named dwarves in there. And uh, yeah, they're gonna have to start to death in here because I'm not taking any more chances. As you can see here, we had five. Uh, well, it started with one werewolf, and he killed two or three, and now we lost another three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve dwarves lost from one werewolf. So we said one, five, and then twelve. So we can quickly get out of hand. So, yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna have to starve to death in there. That's just how it is. <laughs> Armok, watch over them. Because we will not. And Armok, give them... How do you say it? Armok, show them mercy because we will not. Yeah, that's basically it. So, yeah. It was a very drastic and uh, tragic episode of this fort. But the fort lives. We have survived, and we can keep moving on to be to try and become the new capital. It will be a capital with some grim stories and a dark history. And the hospital will never, the brand new hospital, will never quite be the same with markings on the wall by the dwarves trying to scratch their way out through the doors. Yeah, so thank you for joining me in this. Sad, sad moment in our fort, but still a victorious one because we are surviving and we are keep doing it. We are keeping doing this. I can't even speak. That's how sad it is. So yeah, thank you for watching. 
I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.